Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Stu, and this is part three of my playthrough of Barren Desert, the first scenario in the VJ scenario pack. Part one, we built this wooden wild mine train just there. Quick reminder we need to have 10 coasters over six excitement. 7.3. And Junior Coaster just here, Parasite. We have got a toxic dump there. So Parasite there, 7.09 excitement. So this one, it's got two stations, entrance on one side, exit on the other one. So the guests have just got out and then the empty train comes round, just goes around and then back up into the entrance. It's kind of a Mobius coaster, except one of the tracks doesn't really do anything. And the purpose of that is just to act as a way of synchronizing. So let's get on with the next coaster then. Mini coaster. Well, it's the next one available. Let's build one of these. So let's have a look at the pre builds just to see how hard it's going to be. So the excitement rating on that is not good enough. Nowhere near good enough. Nowhere near good enough. Nowhere near good enough. Nowhere near good enough. So we are going to have a work cut out for us. So one thing we can do, as I mentioned, when we built the first, when we built this one, was by having the station buildings, the entrance and exit building on one side, it allows us to be able to synchronize, which is exactly what we can do now. So that will give us an easy bonus for excitement. Having the path in as well, going under the station, that will give us a nice bonus as well. So can I? No. Nope. Can I go that way? Nope, I can't. Okay. So we're going to have to do that. Or we can do an S bend. And then do a chain lift. Let's go like that and then do it that way there. Sort of together. Go back to the first plan. That way, that one's not in the way and we can get some extra height on it because these are very small trains, very small cars. They lose speed very quickly. So can we have it interacting like that? No. What about like that? We can. About a helix. We'll do a large helix, then a small helix. And we'll come out like this. I'm going to have to delete that. Rather than deleting the shops, I'm just going to delete that. That's fine. In order to get them synchronized, the front tiles of the station need to be touching. So that's fine. The back tiles don't need to be. Um, and then what about... Nope. Doesn't like that. What about... 
it's too close to the exit do a little break there and another one there cool so i didn't do it last time because i was very confident that it would be fine this one it should be fine but i'm gonna save it anyway i'm changing the name of the save as well that way it doesn't overwrite previous ones so if i mess something up i can always go back and also when i come to do in the the wrap-up video and the sort of the summary um it enables me to quickly load up each of the saves as well so behind the scenes spoiler for you just click the car click the wrong one just wanted to see how fast it was going that's fine just makes it through so we can probably do away with the bank yeah we can do away with the bank on that it might go a bit quicker once there's a a guest on there because they're going to have a bit of weight four guests per car let's have a look at the stats i figure this is going to be a five five and a half maybe four point seven awful okay that's fine we can there's plenty of things we can do. So a little bit of If we do that, we've got a head chopper. I'm not going to bother doing a ramp on this one because we're probably going to do some sort of station platform or something to uh, hide that. Five point one one. It's a nice little boost of about point four, just with the par. Then, um, of course, we can synchronize. We've got five cars on that. We've got eight cars on that. One minute eleven. One minute two. That's okay. They can wait. They're not paying to come in, so that's fine. Um, so that'll boost up the five. There you go. Five and a half, and. Some sort of pick a garish colour.
have some scenery blocks down. Why is it doing that? We don't want it underground. Um, five point nine two. Let's give it some sort of garish color scheme and what have we unlocked anything else that we can use not really So I'm not going to be too thorough or interesting with the scenery. Uh, my main sort of thought behind it is to do something that's just that looks maybe interesting and something that gives us a nice excitement boost um and if it cannot look terrible that'll be a bonus What have we got? What have we got? We've done one of them. What about...
we'll do the diagonal one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten on this side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten have i gone a bit too much on one side i don't know it's it's not the easiest thing to see is it um if we got something to go on top I'd... <laughs> Um, so there and up to go on top. Um, can't see anything, can you? I'm gonna get rid of that. It's awful. Okay. Um, so what are we doing now? 5.95 almost. Okay, so let's, we'll do that and we'll do that. Can we go this side? No, we can't. We can do that, which hasn't done anything. So let's toggle that. I'm hoping that little head chopper I'm hoping that little head chopper will give us a nice little boost of excitement Oh, there you go, a massive boost. And that wasn't just from that. That was because I've done a retest. So it's it's factored in all the other little bits and pieces that I've done and added them in. So that's awesome. So we need some sort of, um, how about, let's go for something vile. What, what can we think of that's pretty awful? Toxoplasmosis. That's pretty grim, isn't it? Awesome. Cool. Right then, we need a handy person because we are an equal opportunities employer here. Uh -huh. Job done. Fantastic. So three coasters done over the six excitement. It doesn't look terrible. It's a bit garish. That's kind of the point. I mean, we are next to a bright green lake. Um, and I'm sure once all of the rest of the coasters are done, it'll sort of blend in into a big sort of like a smorgasbord of disgustingly looking coasters. It'll be epic. Cool. So this is part three of Barren Desert. The first of the VJ scenario packs There's 52 of them in total. So this is going to take me quite some time to get through them all. 
I've started doing longer playthroughs. A lot of people seem to be happier with that. Uh, something I haven't done in the past, mainly because my internet used to be rubbish and now it's pretty quick. So I'm not waiting around all day for it to upload. It, it does it in a couple of minutes. So that's great. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. My name's Stu and I'll see you soon. Bye.